Welcome back to another episode of Blue Lock, and I'm super excited for Blue Lock, and let me tell you why. If you don't know much about me, sports genre is probably one of my favorite genres of all of anime. First manga or anime I've ever seen was Slam Dunk. This is the granddaddy of sports series, Slam Dunk, the national treasure of Japan, OG Basketball. Then, there's other series such as Kuroku no Basket. Now, if you compare the two, one is more realistic has a fantastic story. The other one, Kuroko no Basket, also has a fantastic story, but the anime really gets exaggerated when people start taking half-court shots, doing the zone and all that. It's super, it's super anime, right? And the unrealistic sports animes, I love that just as much as the realistic ones. Blue Lock, however, is on the unrealistic sports side, because you saw the guy doing like capoeira and shit, but it's also much different because all sports series that I've seen or read, it's usually the same format of school, tournaments, going for nationals and so on. And they kind of led us to believe that was the format at the beginning of episode one. Then it's like, no, 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 no. We're going to a social experiment. We're trying to create the best, the most selfish striker Japan can have so that they can play for Japan and be number one or something. This is a concept I've never seen. It's not even, I, I'm sure we're going to get actual scrimmages and maybe tournaments and maybe more standard, that kind of formatting into the future. But so far, it seems like this is sec like specific scenarios of little game that you play to become the ultimate egoist and why because for a striker to be the best they can be they got to be so selfish that they would prefer to get a hat trick than lose 3-4 apparently that's the logic of some of the best strikers in the world i don't really know much about soccer but it's been an amazing first episode so far so let's get on with episode two all right we're back to the end of uh, episode one where <laughs> he got face shot Cheetah. Yo, he was getting so hyped up in episode one, being such a kind person, he was really good too, and then he got, you're done. You can go home and play for nationals now, I guess. Go home. Lock off. That's actually pretty funny, he keeps saying, lock off. And he's probably one of the highest ranking dudes, as it's gone already, that's it, goodbye. Yeah, you can still go play for nationals in time, man, but obviously he's never gonna be able to play for Team Japan. Okay, his real personality is coming out, huh? Oh. The true Kira is coming out. Because before he was very composed and being very kind. He's like, oh yeah, I'm Japan's Jill, don't worry about it. But everything about this place and everything about this drill was specifically to test like specific things for a striker. But doesn't change the fact that motherfuckers were holding people. And, like, we were holding people for a target. I mean, this is quite the reach that you're making. <laughs> that example versus him not shooting at Temple Monk at the last second, but I get what he's trying to say, not lock off. Yeah, this guy was kind of crazy, Meguru. He went for the ball. Like, when everybody was running away, he went for it. That guy is super interesting. Like, there's something wrong in that guy's head. But also, he's doing capoeira at the same time. Lock off. Basically saying fuck off, but lock off! And this is just one game of tag. Imagine what other shit we have in store. And everybody just looks like main character. Their designs are so cool. And Mr. Ego is Jinpachi, man. I love the way he makes everything so tense. Anytime he's talking, you can feel his presence. Like Betelgeuse from like ReZero or like Frieza from Dragon Ball. 11 living together so we are a team now even though we're all just strikers how many players in the team at, this, at once on the field is it 11 i don't know oh said the coolest letter his ankle's already better this guy's fast right jingo there's so many names i gotta memorize man igarashi isagi this guy seems kind of nice. Cool. Ooh, jump. Damn, this guy's a huge vert. Everybody's an elite athlete here. He's tall and his vert is insane. What are we good at? We're pretty just average at everything, right? Yeah. I mean, that was established in episode one. We can get better food based on the rank. We got Nato. And I would take that, honestly. Yeah. Damn, the higher ranking, the better food you get. 
makes it more, you know, makes you want to rank up higher, I guess. This guy looks super interesting, too. No utensils? Just eating with your hands? Okay. His eyes. This is like a more of like a jokester guy. The way he talks is like so emotionless. Who are we gonna meet at this late hour? Oh, hello. Who is it? Wanna practice? Oh, it's him. Obviously, he's gonna be super important though, because he, he keeps appearing. And like episode one, he was very crucial. The crazy guy that just like was sleeping half the time, and then kicked the guy in the face, and made the ultimate gamble. Yeah, what kind of you? You were on your. Like he was, he's upside down. Your face screamed it. Look in your eyes. There it is. There. That look. Whenever people's eyes start getting the spirals, there's a monster in him. What do you mean monster? Okay, a little bit of flashback. Oh, oh, oh. Will he pass? No, I'm not gonna pass. The monster would. What monster? There's a monster within him. What would the monster do? Just score by himself? Foul! Hey, that's dirty play. The monster again. Uh, this is a crazy animation, but is this like your imaginary friend or is this someone like... Explain the monster. Is he in the room with you right now? The monster comes out and talks. I think... <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Sometimes he tells me to burn the school down. I feel like we, we need to get this guy to the hospital. At that moment, the monster told him to pass. So, does everybody have a monster? Is this something special to like Blue Lock? Every special character has like a monster? That, like an internal QB or something? Like, I don't know. Is it like an idealized version of themselves? They all just have mental illnesses and they have some crazy person just talking inside their head. They all have monsters inside of them. Okay. So this is like Blue Lock's, you know, version of your inner demon or something. Like, I don't, I don't know. Oh. Yeah. He accepts him though. Meguru accepts Isagi as like a very interesting person or at least someone that's worth. It's pretty good considering we're pretty average so far. When his eyes lights up like that, man, it's so cool. Yeah, the flame starts kicking in. I don't know how that works, but it looks so cool. Gakamaru is a uh, what rank? 275? Eh, that's not bad, monk. What's yours now? 274. Hey, we're making it up. Still, we're just always one above the temple monk. Uh, time for another drill. Come on, better food and rank up higher then. <laughs> this guy's so savage. It's like, blame yourself. It's your fault for being shitty. Just rank up higher and get better food, dude. 25. B to Z. Five groups, one per building. So we're gonna continue to eliminate though. Yeah, we're, we we got we got ranked up, but we we're still at the grand scheme of things. <laughs> still bottom for Temple Monk. Damn, we are the lowest rank. That's crazy, considering everybody in here is kind of looks kind of crazy too, right? But like, who is above like team like group A or team A? Like, these guys are no pushovers. They all look pretty sick. They seem to have... They all seem to have some kind of, like, main character energy except Temple Monk, but... Everybody... Jesus! That's the kind of environment they're in? Who is dude? Genie's midfielder. Return to Japan. So is this gonna be, like, a transfer student that's gonna join Blue Lock late? No. I'm going to Blue Lock. But he's a midfielder, though. He's a midfielder, not a striker. Damn, they, the outlook of Japan is not very good. New generation, one of the world's 11 heroes. Jesus. A crazy titles coming in, huh? One of the 11 heroes. And Japan is just getting shit on so hard. But 
Maybe there's some truth to it. Yet. <laughs> it's uh, quite audacious, but I'm sure he can talk his shit because he's that talented. <laughs> I came back because my passport expired. But he's a midfielder. How is he going to meet all the blue lock people? The dream of simply playing in the World Cup has served its purpose. Enough of making it just for World Cup. Let's win one. Her and Jinpachi, they're very, very ambitious. They're really just like spearheading Japan soccer to the world stage. One hero. One hero. Who's it gonna be? And of course, Noah. <laughs> Everything is based off of all stars. Even the world. Guys, relax. This is just soccer, but it's the world of soccer. What they're saying is pretty crazy. They should try this in real life. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's in the blue lock. <laughs> the way she said it almost sounded like it's all there. I left there in one piece. One piece does exist. That was pretty epic, though. No, she wants to join the blue lock. Ooh. Okay, one of the 11 heroes wants to see, wants to see. I bet he has a monster in himself too. And that's the episode. Ah, this felt like more of like a setup episode for the future episodes, but like the most important thing was monsters. It's not just an imaginary voice in your head. No, they apparently exist in the elite players. So I guess this is something I'm just going to accept as, okay, monsters do exist. And whenever people's eyes start getting all those spiral looks and the, you know, the crazy animation, that's when the monster is kind of activated and they'll tell you, hey, do this, do that. Or maybe that's a specific to Meguru, but interesting concept. I guess this is going to be like, you know, in Shonen anime, everybody has like the inner demon, like the QB and Naruto or like... Ichigo's like inner hollow and bleach. I guess this is this, but for blue lock, I'm down. Everything look, this just makes it more epic, right? So we got more of the system of the blue lock, how everybody's kind of separated into their own corners. We're the bottom though. We're like the very, very bottom. And it's interesting how Jinpachi spends so much time talking to us. I'm sure he does and it doesn't show to the other group, but spends a lot of time talking to the bottom people, huh? It's gonna be really interesting to see who's at the very top because we already seem quite competent as we are But could you imagine who's in like rank A right now like team A like crazy to think like who the top 11 of this blue lock project is and One of the 11 heroes of the world these titles are so <laughs> over the top epic, but I love it the Exaggerated unrealistic sports anime series. I'm all for it, man. And these titles. I love it, too It's becoming very fun, but hey if you stick around this long and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists in my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to push on my small channel to recommend this so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.